all of our games are just contrivances to satisfy this mechanism. You have to have a game for there to be something that matters, like scoring goals or some other thing. This mechanism of sentience that needs to be fed, it needs feeding. There's no category of game that's real. It just uses a metaphor for the idea that you do have this value mechanism and you have this objective of scoring and winning, doing it right. Victory usually has a definition like that. Your players don't die, you score more points, you win, you know, kind of thing. So in this sense, if you just break the word game down to what is a game, you know, some sort of umpired exchange of skill, you break it down into that, into what it basically is. This idea of scoring goals by some sort of rules. That you can use, that metaphor can be used to describe almost anything. Successful art or architecture or engineering or anything that you do proficiently and well and efficiently and sufficiently and all of those kind of words. By a simpler definition, breaking the word game down into what it is, you could find a place maybe you can put what we're doing. You could describe the value game or the efficiency game or the productivity game, the importance game, the significance game. You could find words, they're just words, more categories, to say why is this thing distinct, why is this thing in some separate category. I think it's just very unfair to argue from there's no value because matter broken down into its pieces has no relevance to it. Obviously diamonds are doing something or matter that is hard and transparent is doing something different than what matter that's not doing that is. And you can make the distinction and put it in a category. And the difference isn't nothing. The difference is something. A prism, for example, is splitting light. It's doing something. Now the question is, is what falls into some category called meaningful something. A meaningful something. He's saying that the game of life, the DNA game, the evolution game, might be something you could call a game. It might be the closest thing we have to a game. And I'd say it was the nothing. It didn't mean anything until 500 million years ago when the prism thing happened, when it started splitting consciousness, splitting experience into an internal mechanism, a neural network that started tweaking itself, playing with itself, <laughs> you know, mentally masturbating, the game became significant. It's a new category, it's doing something different, it's prisming now, it's transparenting, it's doing something the other matter isn't doing. The question is, is you know, as an intelligence, what do you say? Do you say is it a significant difference or an insignificant difference? And I'm going to argue in defense of the fact that it's a freaking significant difference. And I'm going to use the testimony of my personal experience having one. But if I was to explain it to something else, I would explain, don't mess with this. Don't play with this. This is a kind of fire. It's a kind of fire, a thing that takes place. And you've got to be really careful with playing with this thing because it does something quite bizarre and quite strange and quite hard to explain. Even if we could explain the physics, we're going to be sitting there with a bag full of arranged matter, part of the properties, and it split them. It's put them into a form that we are not used to seeing. And we're in a form where we're functioning on one of these levels. But I'm just saying, I think there's clear evidence that we can take it and just use a word like significant, or important, or substantial, a big word, an important word, and say that consciousness fits into that category. This is an important phenomenon. It's not a, it's not a river flowing, it's not uh, swirly whirlies, it's not tornadoes, it's not a hurricane, it's not some nebula, it's not just a bunch of stuff doing stuff. It's doing a very different kind of stuff. Stuff very different from any of the other stuff in the known universe. It's a very different kind of stuffing. A complex, phenomenal thing is happening to me. I'm sensing, I'm feeling, I have state changes. I Dramatically different things, you know, are happening to me. They're, they're being created inside of me when I'm functioning. Until next time. I mean, I won't call it a cheat of the argument, but it's sort of a cheat for you to tell me I have to place it in some sort of material bottle with material describing words explaining how the matter itself is significant.
You know, the matter's not significant. The matter itself isn't significant. The forces that made it aren't significant. None of the other crap. It's only significant in how it has been arranged and the properties it now acquires through that arrangement. And that puts it into this category of different than all the other matter.